The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual with the lowest voice in America. Please welcome Mr. J.P. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good. And he is the two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. The only one. Please welcome the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. That is fucking impressive, man. I can't. Every time I hear it, it yeah. impresses me more. I know. I it know. Should. It does. It should. Uh, if you got twenty bucks, I'll take a picture with you. Okay, deal. What do you do for forty? <laughs> yeah, I'll sign it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? For 60, I'll come on your tits. <laughs> okay, oh, here, right. hold on. He's got that. Will you take pocket. a check? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, damn. No. I do take Spangles gift cards. <laughs> okay. It just tastes better. <laughs> yes. Anyways, welcome in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, a lot of them are targeted toward me, and that's fine. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if you are one of those people, you are in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Woo, and kids. don't forget, sometimes I pull my dick out. Sometimes. Okay. All right. Sometimes. Sometimes he'll pull your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They, they don't see that. No, yeah. <laughs> absolutely not. Sometimes. No. <laughs> sometimes. I uh, There was a tweet that was going around today that said, uh, if you suck a dick, it doesn't quite mean that you're gay. Have you seen this? No. Uh, and it, and it, was a, <laughs> it was a trans person that said, well, not if it's a girl's dick. <laughs> I, oh, right. I always say, <laughs> it's like, I, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I always used to say, I'm not a faggot because I suck dick. I'm a faggot because I like to suck dick. (laughs) Welcome, everybody. See how it was, I mean? They say when when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. You never work a day in your life. Uh, But anyways, uh, we have an excellent episode this week. We've got some NFL playoff headlines. Playoffs? Playoffs? Uh, We have Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions and Pergutas, as always a good draft, and as always a shitty situation to wrap up the show. But we like to kick the the show off with what happened to us over the last week, and uh, I've got a lot. So we're going to kick it to the person who never has anything, and that is JP. JP. Do you think when you say that, do you think sometimes when you say, I have a lot to talk about, people just turn it off right then and there? Maybe. Because I would. Maybe. <laughs> so I got some good it's shit. been nice seeing you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't do gracious. much, man. I worked, no. I bowled, I smoked pot, I... Uh, what video game Played are you on? video games. What video game are you on? Are you back to Goat Simulator? I've been playing this weird game Fucking called, goat simulator, yeah. <laughs> called uh, Cuphead. What? Uh, oh, what? what is this? It's called Cuphead. It's, uh, dude, it's impossible is what it is. Oh. Uh, unless you're like a fucking 14-year-old Asian boy. Oh. You can't make it through this fucking game, I can assure you. It's an old game. It's like a 360 game, I believe. Oh wow! But it's a co-op game where you both play at the same time. Oh, so, those are you know, those are, those are fun. Yeah, so I was fun. looking for stuff, co-op stuff, and that popped up, and it's fun. It's it's fun, but dude, it's so frustrating. It's so hard. Hmm. All right. It's so hard, and the game's pretty difficult too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, I'm I'm glad. I got finally got some tires for my car. Gay. Okay, good for you. Nice. I think you're scheduled coming up. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I, I'd have to check. I think tomorrow. Is it? I believe so. You could be right. That's what you texted me, but well, then I, mean, I believe me. Then I believe me when believe I texted you. Yeah. You believe you when you texted <laughs> me the right, date? Yeah. yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. 
but uh, yeah still leaking antifreeze uh-huh i'm sure you I'm are still pouring that shit into the fucking car like it's fucking liquid gold mm-hmm. nice uh, so other than that man uh not a whole lot going on uh, but is the car freezing i mean it's cold outside i mean it's what do you mean yeah is but it is the is as it, is the radiator like froze well no then it's doing its job. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, I still have to keep adding it it's over and over. But it's, wor- it's working. <laughs> yeah. uh, Plus, sure it where you're smells going with delicious. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, it tastes good, too. I know. I, know. <laughs> I have a cat under my old deck. <laughs> yeah. that, it. <laughs> under your old deck, it's still there. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It drank the antifreeze, and then it just curled up in a ball and that stayed is. there. Yeah, uh, happens. But, uh, yeah, man. Sometimes. Not yeah. a lot going on other than that. Yeah, bowling, nice. still bowling. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a couple of uh, listeners that actually had a question specifically just for you, and that was, have you ever lied about your bowling score? Don't have to. Don't have to? Pretty no. much writes itself. Writes itself. Mm, good stuff. All right, fair. How about you, Derek? How was your last week? A couple weeks, actually. You weren't here last week. I haven't done shit. No, you have to. No, like two weeks ago, it was five outside. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So I got off work Friday. Uh, put on pajamas, uh, showered Sunday, put on pajamas, <laughs> and then went to work Tuesday after showering and took off the pajamas and put on work clothes. Okay, that's fair. It's too fucking cold to do shit. It's cold. So yeah. I played Avatar. Yeah. Uh, it, it's been frustrating. I kind of started to get it figured out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a thing where there's, long story short, uh, the stealth mode is ass. Um, <laughs> you, you can't... I often go into stealth mode to get some ass. I bet, I bet so. Yeah. Those are roofies. Oh, uh, that's different. Yeah. So, like, and then I finally figured out, like, I can punch through the glass of these, like, robot things and then yank the dude out of there. Oh, yeah. And then it's stealthy. So then I've, I'm, like, halfway maybe through the game when I went to go do that. And now they all have cages over it. And I'm like, you ass Son of a bitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, they what figured the you fuck? out. I'm back to fucking square one yeah. again. So, uh, and then I started, uh, I watched uh, Wonka mm. this week. The musical one that came out? You know, I that's where I was at. I told my wife, because I was like, eh, we could watch this, but I've heard it's a fucking musical. And she's like, the first one was pretty much a musical. It was. And I was like, yeah. Okay, you got me there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll check it out. And it really wasn't much of a musical. Like the very oh. bit, the first like five minutes of it, you're like, holy fuck, I think I'm going to have to start sucking dick. Like when you watch it. <laughs> like it's super gay musical. Uh-huh. And then after that, it was like, huh, okay. Uh-huh. It, it wasn't bad. Okay, that's I, good. I, I, of course, when you go in with low expectations, usually <laughs> it ends up being better than expected. 100%. So. That's how I think all your friends should go into your friendship is very low expectations. My but then, comedy show for sure. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. obviously yeah. they did that. Yeah, they sure did. Twice. Uh-huh, the judges <laughs> yeah. especially. Stupid judges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's all I've really done. Is that's fucking, it? Yeah, I haven't done shit. Wow. Wow. Played, I bought Royals tickets. Yeah, you, uh, you did. You told me you did that. That was a waste of I've, money. I felt kind of badass, though, because they go on sale next month, but I, I now know a guy. Wow. <laughs> so he knows able, a guy for Royals tickets. That's they're, tough. They're playing the Cubs. They're playing the Cubs. So yeah. he's going to see his team. I yeah. understand. I get it, but yeah. you act like it's tough to get Royals tickets. Well, for that game, it will be. It will, yeah. It oh, will yeah. Be I they, agree. The last time they played there was six years ago. Yeah. So they don't mm-hmm. play there often i hope they get beat the cubs or the royals the cubs oh well you and me both even though we're not going to be any good yeah uh i did buy i I bought tickets for all three of those games uh and the cool parking nice yeah yeah. that's good and i've still been on the uh the diet yeah Uh, how's that going by the way not it's, well from where I'm sucks. sitting. <laughs> Appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, still on it. Uh, I'm now, this is week four. Yeah. So it's I've stuck with it. That's the commitment. The that's, commitment part is the hardest part. That, that's why my weeks are so goddamn boring. Oh, 100%. Because it's like, well, we could go out and... Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you want to go out and... No, nah, I don't. I don't want to go out and eat chicken somewhere else. I'm yeah. good, and I don't want to uh, go out and to the bar and have a water. Yeah, so, that's uh, the, that's so awkward when you do that. There's fucking nothing to do, right? Like at all. I go bowl with JP on Mondays. Mm-hmm. I mean, that if that's the highlight of your week, dude, it wouldn't surprise me. It's <laughs> not I'm pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> it's like my second favorite thing to do. It's this show and then bowl. <laughs> <laughs> liar. <laughs> wow. Okay, fine. Well, yeah. 
It's uh, I've been boring as fuck. That's all right. I wasn't. I live my life like that, man. Yeah, I know. I need to just, I guess, smoke pot, and now I'm a you. I know where you could get some. <laughs> I bet so. Uh, Next to Pan. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> uh, wrong button. <laughs> uh, I I survive vacation. I I. Uh, I'm disappointed. Where's I, this one? I know. No, no, it's no, not that. Where's one. the want want? It's uh. That. Yeah, there we go. I thought I kept looking for pro plane crashes, man, and uh, I just they never came. And I know. I was, I was upset. I tell you what, I got to say that the part that I was the most afraid of ended up being not the part I hated the most. It was going to the fucking airport was way worse than the plane. Uh, the flights uh, out of Wichita to uh, Orlando, there's not a direct flight anymore, so we had to fly into Atlanta. Oh, and, you went uh, Delta. Yeah, and don't so, ever leave the airport. Mm, that's what that's <laughs> <for. Yeah. laughs> and it's true because once yeah. you, once you get into Atlanta, I mean, it was it was a fucking thing. Like people were running off of the the plane that they just got off of and making a beeline across the. Apparently, Atlanta is a big fucking oh, airport. It's huge. So then they have to like get off the plane and run to the next gate yeah. so they can make the connecting flight. O'Hare, ask, O'Hare me, used to be like that too oh before my they redid God. it. God, that me, I hated more. Let huh? me ask you this: What's up? Just carry on. I did. Smart man. Yeah, I did. Uh, last three times I flew through Atlanta, my luggage did not. So, <laughs> but uh, smart man. But I uh, did black folks in have to check my golf bag. So it got there. Oh. Wow. wow. It was an oversized bag, and I watched yeah. them from my seat in the airplane load Loaded that onto motherfucker the <laughs> on the plane. That still doesn't mean it would have yeah. gone the fucking You're ramp. exactly right. Uh, but no, I survived, and I because I survived, I made I was so terrified of that I wasn't going to that I made my peace with God before we left. That's good. And when we landed, it was like, okay, low expectations for the trip. I lived. Let's see what happens. Well, God was like, I don't want to deal with this fucking asshole. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. a good point. Better make sure this fucking thing it's, lands. It's good true. Call. Dude, it was. That's a, why I'm alive. I'm still trying to get to my coffin weight. Yeah, yeah. Your, <laughs> your casket weight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, man, it was by far the best trip of my life. Uh, the I would want to say this. On, on the first flight uh, from Wichita to Atlanta, it scared the fuck out of me because all of a sudden we're in the middle of the flight and they turn the lights off, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, lights come on, which is never a good sign. And somebody comes over and it's like, attention all passengers. If there is a doctor on board, please assist. The pilot is <laughs> dead. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> please assist the stewardesses or whatever the hell they're called. And uh, they're you're like, like, I have a podcast. <laughs> no, I, I can't like, die. I was like, <laughs> like, uh, no, I was not moving. I don't care if I was still certified EMT. Fuck that shit. I'm sitting still. Uh, but apparently there that was guy a, died because of you. No, there was another dude on the plane who was having a panic attack because he didn't like fly any either. So he had to have a doctor. And there luckily was a doctor on the plane. Well, Came, there always is, man. I know. Wait till he gets that bill. Yeah. Oh, no, son kidding. of a bitch. That's oh, overtime. Yeah, that's like emergency hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, so there was that, but it turned out the guy lived. He he uh, at least he made it to Atlanta. That's the last time I saw that guy. Uh, <laughs> That's so, the last time anyone saw what that. What if he was like supposed to be flying to Australia? He's like, well, Atlanta starts Atlanta. with an A. Good yeah, enough. That's close enough. Starts with an A, ends with an A. It's we're living here close. now. Yep. Just take me to the zoo. We'll go look at the koalas, and we're going home. We're renting a car. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so we ended up flying into Florida, and uh, it immediately started from there. We ended up uh, that night. We ended up uh, having. Uh, sushi at like a restaurant where the chef is waiting for his Michelin star. I thought you were going to say Japanese. No. What? <laughs> we had sushi where the chef was Japanese. I mean, shit. He, he was. I mean, it was premium shit. He is legitimately just waiting for him to get his Michelin star. So it's a, it's a five star restaurant. We go in. It's the best sushi I've ever had. Did you tell him you sold Michelins? I did not. Okay, you should have. <laughs> I should have. Uh, JP he's getting two tomorrow, but go figure, <laughs> go figure. I go to a sushi place in Florida and it's better than any sushi place in Kansas. Uh, but it was still fucking amazing. Uh, did we you try the catfish. I did not. Uh, you should have. I did not. Catfish uh, sushi. Yeah. <laughs> The house, That's an Atlanta delicacy. I bet. The house we stayed in was a and b uh, It was fucking amazing. It uh, it not only had a movie theater room, an arcade room, a pool table. Glory and, hole. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, kind of. But it also... <laughs> only when you were on the other side. Every single bedroom, which there were nine of them, had their own private bathroom. So everybody had their own private bathroom. And But to top it all off, it had a, like... 
twelve thousand dollar golf simulator. You should have upper decked all the bathrooms. <laughs> oh, I could have. Uh, we got there first, so I could have. That would have been great. We spent hours in the golf simulator. It was fucking amazing. And then uh, we ended up going and teeing off at a golf course called um, uh, Crooked Cat. And thank you to Billy. Uh, Billy Hout hooked us up with that. By far the nicest golf course I have ever even probably stepped foot on. It was a PGA Showcase week. Uh, it was in immaculate condition. And it was one of the only days where it was like sunny and 70. The rest of it was like, <clears throat> I don't know, like 55 and windy a little bit. But it was absolutely amazing. I uh, I chipped in for a birdie. Uh, so I, I played actually fairly well. I shot an 86 on a course I've never played before. So uh, shut up. Um, but How'd you snowboard? That's I, what we want to know. I did not, did not. snowboard. Why, not why did you take it with you? I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I put it in my golf bag. Yeah, yeah. I, fit, yeah. I fit it in my golf I bag. I rented clubs, but I checked my snowboard <laughs> I to go to Florida. Uh then we, uh, Beach I, I gotta say, uh, I was extremely shocked because we ended up going to Disney, uh, and I did not really want to go. And we went to, um, uh, Epcot, the Epcot center. And just around there is a whole bunch of countries and everybody just walks around this big old fucking pond and, and all the countries have different beer and food and shit. Did and you, you go to each <clears> one and ask to see their green card? That sounds like something you'd do. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Let me see your papers. I said, what kind of beer do you have? And, uh, at every single country. And, uh, and we successfully did that. Uh, they even got us like fake tattoos where you have to mark off each individual country. I like how yours is still there. How long ago were dude, you there, Scott? Dude, it was... <laughs> <laughs> we, put, we put this on on like Saturday. Son of a bit. They, it, they make showers. Did your Airbnb not have a shower? Yes. No, they had bathrooms, no showers. It yeah. won't they were fucking all come off. You had to scrub out of the toilet. It won't fucking come off. Uh, but I was I was pleasantly surprised. The whole experience was awesome. We stayed for the fireworks. They were fucking 15 minutes long. It was very they were amazing. They were fireworks so are cool. fucking amazing fireworks. And then uh, one of the last days. Like God's orgasm. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, probably the coolest thing that I think we did was we ended up going, uh, I don't want to say deep sea fishing. We fished in the ocean. We like trolled. Uh, we got a charter and, a, and the captain just drove us down like the main um, channel to get out into the ocean. But it was like fucking 50 and windy. So the ocean was choppy as fuck. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> we everybody caught a fish, which was really cool. But the captain was telling me it's like oh yeah we have a shark problem and i'm like oh great that's fucking amazing for me i know you really like that yeah i really they, love they, that they hop right up on the boat yeah, yeah. <laughs> ate the last guy yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hang on let me do my shark call yeah exactly uh, <laughs> uh but, <clears throat> but no it, captain was fucking amazing uh we if we would have <laughs> gone out for longer we would have gone what deeper would you what? do what what would you do if the guy was like, hey, I'm going to call one of them and fucking <laughs> then started doing Baby Shark, dude? I'd I would laugh. want off that boat immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have laughed. I, yeah. I would have just sat there and laughed. Uh, but no, I guess the like... Captain Pink Fong. Like, like certain sharks, I mean, they, like they have hammerheads and like mainly uh, sandbar sh sharks and, and reef sharks You can sharks swim with shit. reef sharks. Fuck that. Uh, I'm sure you can, but yeah. I'm not going to. But they actually have a problem. Like, you can't even... Like, they had a huge problem with people cutting their fins off and selling them to, uh, like, Japan. Yeah, so they, they can make money. shark fin soup. Yeah. Ooh, uh, and it was actually... I be trying that. It was actually, like, a big, huge ordeal. And what, But the thing that sucks is they were just cutting the fins off, but it would kill the shark, and then they would just put the shark back in the water and let whatever... You know, I don't the think it work them. itself out. I think it just makes them in stealth mode. Then you can't see them <laughs> can't coming. See them coming. <laughs> they're like ninja <laughs> sharks now. But I guess because because they're not allowing that to like you can't even certain sharks you can't even lift out of the boat and take a picture with and put them back like yeah. they you want they, they you cannot do that with a hammerhead apparently yeah. and so now the sharks yeah, are they starting get pissed. they get really mad <laughs> they try to beat you with their <laughs> head just yeah. fucking fuck you. Uh, but no, like now they, uh, they're coming closer into shore. And so he was like, yeah, I bet you in about a year, we're going to probably have a, a lot of uh, people getting nipped in, uh, yes. nipped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, just, was, they just bite their nips off. Yeah. 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 God, we got another one. <laughs> but where we were also You're fishing all now, yeah. where we were also were fishing was actually in Cape Canaveral, which is where like NASA is uh -huh. and, uh, the space, space X, uh, barge was out there 
coolest fucking shit in the entire world. And they're just like, oh, yeah, it's like a fireworks show every like couple of weeks where this motherfucker comes in and lands and everybody videotapes it. And I You're guess, scaring the goddamn fish. Yeah, exactly. But, dude, uh, uh, oh, my God, I would love to have seen that. But it was a very – it was an amazing trip, best trip of my life. I could sit here and talk for 30 minutes, but I know you guys don't give a shit. Uh, but I think yeah, they already know. They, they've already anymore. tuned out. Yeah. And that's perfectly fine. I had a great – trip the flight home back sucked but it still was the best trip i've ever been on good, in my man. entire life so good so thank you to my brother and his fiance for uh doing all of that but yeah that's that's pretty much it without going into too much detail um so yeah that's that's my fucking amazing week so yeah I yeah. was watching your backyard the whole time, buddy, by the way. Thank uh, you, man. Nobody came in. <clears throat> I, well, I, I made sure you were armed. I, strapped, I was armed. You were strapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't oh, want yeah. to get, you get He clapped. does that anyway, though. Even when you're here, he watches <laughs> your backyard. <laughs> no, I'm more up in the front window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He's like, let me see that peen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's move on with the show. As far as the headlines go, last time we had the show, uh, we acted like uh, the the playoffs just happened, uh, but they did not. Uh, we recorded early, so that way you guys could still have an episode, but we had no idea what happened in the playoffs. Um, but obviously, we know now. Uh, and some so, of us. Uh, yeah, some of us do. Uh, but the uh, we now had, uh, we had the Buffalo Bills and the Chiefs this last week. Fuck! Yeah. Boo. Boo is right. That's that's that one. I I don't know. Do you feel sorry for the Bills? Do you just feel bad for them? Dude, but dude, this is like their legacy. Yeah. You know how many times they've been to a fucking Super Bowl and well, lost, they lost it? Do you know how many three times? Three in a row. Yeah, man. I mean, four, it's I think. Four, four in a row? It was four. Yeah. And how many fucking times? I mean, it's their legacy. It's what they do. And I think that. And then the fans throw shit at the opposing team. I love that. And that then, was great. Yeah, dude. I, mean, I love it. Everybody was like shocked. Oh, my God. They were yeah. throwing. No, have you ever seen a game in Buffalo? They yeah. threw dildos on the field before. <laughs> dude, right. They jump off table. They feed the pit. Did you see feed the pit? Did you see that? Yes. 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 Yeah, they do. Dude, Why are you shocked I at know. that? I was, I'm not. No. People were like, oh, just poor sportsmanship. They could be like, they they set the mascot on fire. I'd be like, yeah, it's the fucking it's Bills Buffalo, Mafia. Man. Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> Best fans in football. I'm sorry. I'm a Bears fan. Fucking go Bills fans. It was it was really cool to see him like shoveling the entire stadium like before the game actually happened. That was cool. You know what I'm saying? But uh But fuck, man. They didn't I, even I, give him tickets. They just gave him 20, 20 bucks, bucks an, an hour, hour and a yeah. sandwich. I know. I would have done it for the sandwich. <laughs> uh, just the sandwich alone. It's <laughs> worth it. There had to be beer involved just from the videos of people sliding down the snow with uh, no shirt on. Yeah, there had to have been beer involved there. But uh, unfortunately, they <laughs> they pulled a Cody Parkey. Yeah. Tyler Bass. No, he didn't hit the. He upright. didn't hit a. He didn't hit the up. They pulled a Scott Norwood. Okay, that's, that's the guy that missed but, wide right for them the last, <laughs> the time, last time. He's already deleted. Uh, <laughs> he's already deleted all his accounts and that Bass guy has. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Already I, deleted all his accounts. I and, saw him. I saw he did have like uh, they either interviewed him or he did have something that was posted. And he feels terrible. He feels well, absolutely well, awful. I mean, in his shit. I'm sure he doesn't feel great. Well, no, but it's like he's putting it all on him, which in, of course. in certain which he should. circumstances Piece of shit. you might <laughs> have a point there. Uh, uh, but what are we paying the guy millions of dollars for? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it sucks because now we have fucking Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship again. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan not either. Not a fan. And uh, they Worst played. fans in football. They, my God, and you're not lying. <clears throat> I, I'm starting. I mean, we live in the Kansas City area. Okay, so we get, we get more of them than anybody else. They've become the Patriots fans. Yeah, they, I was going to say. Hate. No, yeah. they have become worse than Cowboy fans, and Cowboy fans are Fucking everywhere. I got to hear it every starting fucking Monday morning. I hear it all the way till Saturday. Yes. Even if it's like if they make the Super Bowl and there's that week in between, I'm going to hear about them that whole week, too. Yeah. Like it's just the worst. But one thing is definitely for sure. And that is I wanted to at least bring up Jason Kelsey is a fucking awesome human being. I think he'll be a chief next year. Uh, no way. He's retired. Uh, mm. He's retired. Mm. He's retired. It's not what he said. Uh, he's retiring. Not what he said. He had told his team that he is retiring at the end of the game. And then he took it back, and he said, I'm not necessarily retiring. 
Okay. So he's retired from Philadelphia. He is. I think him and his brother want to fucking retire together. I think they want to play together. <clears throat> I, I think he'll be a tackle. I think they'll put him at left tackle. No way. He's too small. No, he, he's not. He needs to be a center. He's the best They've center. already got a great center. He's one of the best centers of all time. They're not going to get rid of their center. But, I, no, I think, uh, and you know what? You going to put $100 on it? No. Why uh, not? I just don't. I, 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 here's my thing. I don't care who he plays for. It's so difficult that he plays for a team I really don't like in the Philadelphia Eagles. But as a human being, I fucking love Jason Kelsey. He grabbed like a Taylor Swift fan, oh, yeah. and and they're a Bills fan, and he grabbed her and yeah. show, and like you know held her up for held Taylor her up to for look Taylor at. to see, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, like, look, look, another I, clone. I, I got one for you. Uh, oh. But he's chugging beer in the parking lot with the Bills mafia. He's chugging beer with his shirt off. He looked like Burt Kreischer when he was standing outside of the window of of his private booth or the the Kelsey booth. Um, yeah, I saw but, a meme with him in the. Uh, uh, Chippendales skit oh, from yeah. Saturday Night Live Fuck with Farley. Yeah. Yeah. It was that two together. It was be, pretty awesome. It'd be great. But I just I don't know. I, I I hope whatever he decides to do, he becomes very successful at it. He would be great as a commentator if he decides I think he'd to be retire. A good left tackle for the Chiefs. Uh no, no. Please don't please don't do that. Um I'm but it's probably gonna happen. I think he'll be a chief. Cohen's coincidentally that also means the uh, Baltimore Ravens played the Houston Texans in a game that was kind of close for the first uh half. first half. And uh and you know it was all downhill my, from there. It was, it was, but my hat's off to the to the Texans and CJ Stroud. They had a shitty team last year. Yeah. And they made it to the playoffs and uh yeah, for sure. they ended up playing the best team in uh, probably the NFL in the Baltimore Ravens, and they got beat. But hats off to C.J. Stroud. I'm definitely not surprised in that game. However, moving on to the Green Bay Packers against the San Francisco 49ers. I did watch some of that one because I always like watching Green Bay lose. Yeah, I know. But they've got something in Jordan Love. He has turned around the second half of the season. And uh, they got it. I mean, the Green Bay Packers did it again. They fucking, I think, hit it they with always that do, kid. Don't they? they lose it. Jesus. Well, oh, I thought you meant by losing to San Francisco. <laughs> oh, they, they're they're really good at that. They yeah. are really good at that. But no, somehow every single time that they are in a situation where they need a quarterback, they bring one in, they let him sit and be groomed by the guy that's in front of them. And then the next guy that they have on the list, it turns out to be he's pretty decent. And it's the first year he's starting. He looked kind of shitty in the beginning of the season, but then like once the middle of the season hit, you definitely saw improvements. He was gaining confidence, carries the the Packers, and, and they beat uh, the Dallas Cowboys and make it. <laughs> and, and, oh, no, we're going to get to that in a second. Uh, but uh, hats off to him. I mean, I'm not a Packers fan. I'm, I don't like them at all, but they have somehow figured it out and how to run a team in Green Bay, and uh, they're going to be good again. So, yay, there's that. Um, but, man, now my favorite game I wanted to talk about. <laughs> the Detroit Lions, baby. Woo! Oh, yes. Go Detroit, baby. If you don't like Dan Campbell, something's wrong with you. I do like Dan Campbell, and there is something wrong with me. Well, that is. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, I'm but, both. But that was the coolest thing in the world. We didn't get to talk about it last uh, last episode. But <laughs> what a great game. Couple uh, first, of them. First, Couple games. Yeah, I was going to say, first, let's let's talk about the Rams. I, they I was, handled their fucking business. Holy boy. fucking shit, dude. I mean, they they fucking had that from the fucking kickoff. I don't... It was, I, I was still kind of nervous. I, I mean, I, I mean, if you t- if you take a look at the quarterbacks on paper, Stafford and and uh, Jared Goff. Goff has so much more to prove. I mean, he did, but they both looked pretty. I mean, actually, if you take the quarterback battle, I think actually Stafford did a better job as a quarterback. But God damn, the Lions just wanted that game, and they should. They, I mean, that was the first one. I think they win. probably want to win all of them. I, I, they do, but I mean, it just means a lot. It was it was in yeah. Detroit, and they. Oh, it's huge. I mean, playoff. And, that's right. When's the last time they won a fucking playoff game? 91. Exactly. So, uh, no, I was actually, still, I was still a wee lad as freshman in high school. Actually, it was the week before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's was true. the last time they won. Uh, it was either 91, 93. 20, I, I 24. But, no, um, that was the, no, man. Yeah. We're talking about the first playoff game. Right. But uh, so they get past they get past L.A. Fuck. Then they go <laughs> up against Tampa Bay and Baker Mayfield. And uh, I want to like you, man. 
Uh, what me, Derek? I know he's such an asshole. It makes it hard, doesn't he? It does. Uh-huh. But they go. I love it. They go up against Tampa Bay, and at this time is whenever I'm getting to the airport in Orlando, uh, like three and a half hours early, sitting down just in time for kickoff, and watching the game. And it was so cool because. I'm obviously wearing Detroit stuff. There was one other family in this giant bar that had Detroit Lions stuff on, but everybody in that bar was rooting for Detroit. As it's I feel culture. like, you know, I feel like that with the teams left, if you're not a fan of one of those teams, yeah. you're rooting for Detroit. I, I think that's Because the rest cool. of them are fucks. I, yeah. Every last team that's left, I fucking hate with a passion. I, I there's only one. There's only one that I really cannot stand. But the other two I don't know if I hate I the Ravens love. or the Chiefs more. I know you That's I, tough. You told me that and I'm Because like, the Ravens have fucked Denver out of uh, Super Bowls. Yeah. yeah, we beat the Ravens two or three years that that we lost to them in the playoffs. We win the Super Bowl. I I'm, I'm I mean Yeah. Fucking Ravens. I know. Um but Especially I, the Tebow years. Those were your best years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they right. were. Because we had God on our side. Uh-huh. That's, hey, you, and that's correct. Um, but uh, it was really cool. It was really cool to see, especially uh, just total strangers giving high fives to Detroit yeah, fans. It's, awesome. it's really It was a really cool thing. But the thing that I liked the most was, was the, I looked this up, and this was something I found. In 2008, the Detroit Lions were 0-16. They were the only team ever to be... Uh, defeated only. They did not win a single game in 2008. So that means that as of this coming Sunday, the Detroit Lions will have gone from 0-16 to being in more NFC Championship games in the last two decades than the Dallas Cowboys. (laughs) And more playoff wins on top of that. It's fucking great. That's fucking great. I think it's funny, but... Man, it's good to be a Lions fan right now. So, here's the other thing. <laughs> well, now, Scotty acts like he suffered forever. Yeah, he became a Lions the fan last this year. year. The, yeah. yeah. No, it, it was the year that Dan it Campbell was, was, year, it was Dan right? Campbell's first year, and they won yeah. two games. And I yeah. still was pulling for him. I just liked the, the culture. And, man, whenever you see Dan Campbell go into the locker room after a game, you just want to run through a brick fucking wall. It's awesome. But I, got, I want to run through one right now. I'm I was sure just going to race. I wish one would fall on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of the the comments have coming up of uh, obviously the the Derek people saying it's fucking rigged. Sc- it's scripted it's rigged. and rigged. It is. And the logos are a conspiracy. We're still there, and we are still there. It, it looks like by the logos, and and it's also the color that's not represented as much as the team that wins. So that means, as of right now, it would be the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers, and the San Francisco 49ers win the Super Bowl. That's what the the logo says as far as the logo conspiracy goes. Man, I don't want that to happen. However, It could. (laughs) However, I got a good question, and the other day it was, would you rather like to see the Lions beat San Francisco and go and play in the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs no, or lose against San Francisco and the Chiefs lose against Baltimore. Lose. So that means that there is no way that the Detroit Lions can't win the Super Bowl, but that also means that the Kansas City Chiefs can't be in the Super Bowl. That's really... I would take fucking that. Fucking tough for me. I'd take that too, but I'm it's a Denver so, fan. So. So, but I know, but like being a Lions fan, yeah. it's like, God damn it. It would be great. And you know. But do you want to hear it for fucking an entire year again about how fucking terrific Patrick Mahomes' stupid ass is? That's where I'm at. That's legitimately where I'm at. It's like. Uh, I can't do it. We fucking live around these assholes. We live a- Dude, amongst he's them. He's the best quarterback that's ever played the game. No, you're, he's not. He I, for sure is. Tom Brady's the Tom best Brady's best quarterback. You're wrong. Ever. You're wrong. He has the he's poten- demolished everything that Tom Brady's done, Except and he continues to do Super it. Bowls. Yeah. Dude. Dude. 
it, it's, it's coming, bro. That's what I'm saying is that he has. The I hate the Chiefs. I hate the Chiefs. I know. But that dude is the best fucking quarterback to ever fucking throw a ball. I, I, he just is. He's man. not there yet. He, he, he is. He has the potential to be that. I will give you that. But he's he is, shattering he's every record there. that he's was ever made, yet. even by fucking Tom Brady, who can suck my dick, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would love it. I <laughs> fucking hate Tom Brady. <laughs> Oh, my God. If somebody told me Tom Brady died yesterday, that would fucking make today a lot better. Tom wow. Brady died yesterday. <laughs> hey! I'm just here to bring you up, Jay. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah. So what are your predictions? What What do you think is actually going to happen for the Super Bowl? And I mean actual predictions. <sighs> logo, spe- logo conspiracy. Logo man. conspiracy, bro. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, uh, I think that it's going to be real tough for the Ravens to lose. I do, too. I do too. I hate it, but I, I, no, I don't. I actually don't hate I that. Don't, I, hate I think the Ravens. That, here's the thing. I th- I have more confidence in in Baltimore beating the Chiefs than I do that San Francisco will beat the shit out of the, of the of the Lions. I I now granted, granted, I know I'm biased. I think it'll end up the Lions and Baltimore. That's what you actually think. I do. If that happens, I am in the best mood possible because. And then I think Baltimore know, is going to just fucking destroy. They, they've already done it. It was them. thirty-eight to six. Yeah, and like I don't think it'll seven. be much different. I think it would be. I think the real question is over under. How many roughing the passer calls is Patrick Mahomes <laughs> going to get? Half, yeah, it's possible. I'm going to say three. Okay. I mean, that's possible. God, he bitches about it every fucking time. Oh, dude, they hit. they don't even barely. I mean. It, yeah. Ah, ah, don't touch him, asshole. And then that's a flag. He's kind of getting up there with how I feel about LeBron James. The oh, like yeah. flopping and then complaining. And oh, stuff. yeah. That, he's, he's totally that. He is a crying a, ass yacht. He's, he's, I bet he doesn't. <laughs> he's a yacht, huh? Yeah, he's a biatch. He's, he's a, a yacht. He's a yacht. Okay. Uh, I. If if you put put a gun to my head and I had to I had to win a bet I would put a gun to his head. Yeah, That's, I I would pick the the San dude, Francisco Forty ers against the Baltimore Ravens. If God came down tomorrow, yeah, and she was like, look, and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, look, you can end your life, and I will put you into the body of Patrick Mahomes, and you can have his life. Neither one of you are gonna say no. I would. I'd, You're wrong. I'd commit suicide. I doubt it. I know there's dude, an afterlife that dude at that has point. So much money. I don't care. And fucking like, I wish I was Patrick Mahomes. He doesn't even. Th- I don't even think he. Sometimes I jerk off thinking about. Why? It. Then you got to be married to that. Bitch. Exactly. I would dump her. In I would the, dump her. Now you uh, got to be him. He's no. he's you got and two kids. And you're, you're still related long. to Jackson. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can't fuck your brother. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, my oh God. you can too. Disgusting. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. well, they are from the south. But the worst, oh, the worst shit. possible thing that could happen, I think, is if it's uh, not the worst possible, but if it is the Chiefs against the Lions, and it, it, but the <sighs> NFL, hold on, but the NFL would love the shit out of it because then it would be one. it would be Taylor Swift versus Marshall Mathers LP motherfucker. Like it would be. That's a good script. That's uh, a good script. See, but uh, see, I think they're going with logo unless they do that because. People Everybody's called them out on the logo. logo. Yeah. Because you know they immediately put three other logos out when that happened. Yeah. Who the fuck does that if that's not a fucking conspiracy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's like, oh, hang on. And that just so happened to be the colors of other teams that were in the playoffs. Yeah. It was Dallas. It was the Rams. It was it was Buffalo. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah. I saw I saw one too, and it was uh it was it was the AFC the 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 Super Bowl that I wanted, and that was the Buffalo Bills against the Lions. I would have I would have loved to watch that. That would have been great. But not so much. If they want to fucking make sure that there's no logo conspiracy, just make the colors navy and orange. <laughs> then you know there's no goddamn fuck way off. the Bears or the Broncos yeah, are off, winning the man. Super Bowl. Our teams are We're not going to do it. You're going to win? Oh, man. As soon as we get rid of fucking Russell Wilson. <laughs> Somehow. They, he's gone. Then they cut him. Really? Yeah, yeah they cut him. He's gone. He's he gone. gone. Scotty can't well, stand Well, that him. was the dumbest thing they could have done. They went and bought the team, and instead of doing the right thing and fucking waiting a couple years and rebuilding and putting your fucking money where it's going to do the most good, they wanted to be relevant right away. That's, the, that's a mistake. Oh, yeah. in, the, in today's game, you cannot just blow a bunch of money and be relevant right away but it seems to be the way that people try and do it at least they want to be relevant the bears don't even want to do that they're like just buy tickets that's all we want for the love of god yeah the bears Uh, poor bears you know what just have confidence 
maybe it'll be 30 years, and then you can feel kind of like how I feel now. You're so full of shit, dude. dude. <laughs> you are so full of shit, man. I know. I know. I know. But anyways. Fucking uh, diehard Lions fan Scotty's for a like, year. Now Scotty's uh, like, I fucking, I've been a Dodger fan my whole life. <laughs> Scotty's Dodgers. like, I am so excited uh, that we got Otani, baby. No, That's what he's going to say. No, I was a Rams fan until they left St. Louis, and then I didn't have a team for like 10 years, and then I fell in love with Dan Campbell, and that was it. So there you go. You guys are going to have little cubs. Uh, you, poor, poor Dan Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Derek did uh, want to talk about something baseball related, I think. Oh, yeah. Season's starting soon. Yeah. Season is starting soon. <laughs> no. Feb- February. Got that out of the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anthony Rendon. Yeah. Uh, played for the Washington Nationals, got a World Series. Yeah. Uh, then signed a huge deal with the Angels. Um, he was a really good player yeah, for he was, Washington. Yeah, he was good. Yeah. Um, signed a big deal with the Angels, uh, and then was quoted as saying uh, that basically we've got to here's, – here's the quote. We've got to shorten the season, man. It's too many dang games, 162 games, 185, 183 days, whatever it is. We've got to shorten this bad boy up. Let's go. Uh, fun fact, uh, that guy has played in 200 games in four seasons. He's averaging <laughs> – 50 games a season. He's always hurt. He doesn't play. Uh, and Jonathan Papelbon said, a former teammate of his, he literally hates baseball. <laughs> yeah, it's long. Isn't that what you signed up for? Just tell the team you want to play half the season and give back half your salary. There you go. That's what Papelbon said. And I agree with Papelbon. Absolutely, yeah. I do. Yeah. Papelbon. Yeah, man. That's a fun name to say. It is. Yeah. It sounds like a, you know what it other sounds name? like a children's toy. Yeah, right. Ooh. You know what other name is fun to say? Huh. Amon Ross St. Brown. Yes, it is. I, I just love saying it, man. I got to meet him. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking stud. He's you know what's a stud. stupid name to say? Matt Eberflus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a character from a children's book. Um, it sounds like something Daffy Duck would say when yeah. he's like fucking irritated. He's just like, Eberflus. <laughs> <laughs> like, just fucking mad. Yeah. Eberflus. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's uh, headlines. Uh, yeah. Good luck on championship week. Make your bets, and I hope you win them all. Uh, but now we get to move on to the fun part of the show. We had an awesome uh, month day fun day. Thank you guys all for participating and following us on our socials to uh, participate in that. Man, they were going to riot if I wasn't on the show today. They sure were. Weren't they? They were. They were extremely, yeah, you know. Gotta, and they were going to celebrate if I wasn't on the show today. Uh, no. We, we all were. <laughs> we all were. They were like, all right, no, Derek. <laughs> Whatever. We all were. We're finally getting to it. Oh, I need to take one of those gummy bears. Don't let me forget. Oh, okay. I have a girl at work that eats gasoline, so I want her to try one. <laughs> she well, doesn't drink gasoline. She freezes it and then eats it. Oh, like my that God. Is, yeah, she is. She, is that the girl with a little touch of the tism? Or? No, no, oh, not tism. Not tism. Okay. That's a thing. <laughs> Dude, that's not even a kid. I'm not even kidding. I used, When I worked at QT, I used to have this chick that came into Broadway in Mount Vernon. Okay. And uh, get a cup of ice. And pay for 10 cents in gasoline. I didn't. I was like, fucking, you know, it's Broadway Mount Vernon. Maybe she's got a moped or something. So I put it on there. She went out there and fucking put the gas in the fucking cup and would eat the ice. Oh, my God. Damn. Wow. wow. And, and so I'm, I'm she thinking. She needs to be on a commercial for I'm thinking shelves. it's really weird. <laughs> like, that's fucking crazy. She, but it's a thing. Like, you could look it, look it up on the fucking Googles and whatnot, and it's a thing. These are people where meth just yeah, wasn't enough. I had a good guess. God yeah. damn. That's a mighty bright phone case you have there, sir. Thank you. I'd never lose it. <laughs> oh, I bet. I thought it was more Ninja Turtle Green. Turns out it's not. No. no it yeah. sure isn't. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for participating in Monday Fun Day. We sincerely do appreciate it. We're going to kick this bad boy off with Never Have I Ever. Uh, first one comes in from William Morrow. He wants to know, Never Have I Ever Made a... Th- uh, what? Oh, sorry. Got it. Uh, never. <laughs> I didn't understand. Uh, never have I ever... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry. What? what? Sorry, my bad. What the okay. fuck is that Bieber he, w- <laughs> he wants to know, Never Have I Ever Made a Throwing Up or Gagging Sound to Try to Make Someone Else Throw Up. I've never done that to make someone else throw up. However, I have made those sounds on occasion. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Usually, usually there's a hand somewhere around this area. I will projectile. 
vomit all over that you. That gets Scotty fucking. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's <laughs> not that. It's that. It's, <laughs> This is how I wake up in the middle of of the night to my dog. Oh yeah, that is the <laughs> yeah, best nice. alarm clock for me. I like to think it's Elena. Yeah, just gas. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, I got the chills. Except uh, there's nothing that's around this house that's going to make her gag. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's true. Uh, but anyways, I think the smell oh, might. Uh, my bad. Yeah, it smells. I got like four sounds in one right there. <laughs> Not bragging, just saying. My bad. That's uh, what I used to say. The only way I could gag a chick during a blowjob was if I didn't wash my nuts for two weeks. <laughs> uh, no, I have never done this. This it's get it gets done to me quite often. So no for me. Yeah, I have never done that. Just yeah, tr- to try to get right. somebody to throw no. up. Just now I did. Other yeah. than that, I usually <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Derek does it. Uh, <laughs> it fuck you. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, next one comes in from Brian Hebbard. Brian Hebbard. Brian. Yeah. He wants to know, never have I ever purposefully made a child fall or hurt themselves to get a good laugh from the child or from other people. Uh, well, no, good laugh for yourself. Yeah. But, but, you're, uh, but you're hurting the kid. Yeah. Or let them fall. I, I'll change it to that because I have done that. <laughs> I have done that. I have been watching from a distance and, and just. You know what's uh, coming. You know it's coming. You're just like. And oh. you could have intervened. I could have. But. I, not my kid. <laughs> not my problem. Yeah, I've done that. So, yeah, just sat there and watched him. It's like, this kid's going to eat shit. And then it happens and you're like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. So, I've yeah, done that. Done that I for done sure. That. I'll watch that all day. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if I've ever actually gotten to be the guy that's gotten to just watch it happen. About oh. the only thing I've ever done once, which was hilarious to me, uh, probably not to you guys, but uh, whenever I was in high school, we, were, me and a buddy were like, I think we were, I don't know if we were fishing in a pond or what we were doing, but we were over by this pond and uh, on the bank, and there's this kid on the other side of the pond, and he's got his back to us, bare assed, <laughs> and he's probably like seven, six. He's little, and I'm fucking. I think I'm gonna be funny, and I just go, "Don't piss in the wind," because I can hear him pissing. And then I glance over, and his dad is just staring at me. He's like right to my left. I didn't know that that was his dad, so I thought I was being funny, and it turns out I was just being a dick. <laughs> Shocker! Yeah, no kidding. Uh, all right, so next one comes in from Chase Golden. Chase Golden. Yeah. Ah, the golden shower, they call him. That's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Which means he's running after piss. That's yeah. what his name translates right. to. Absolutely. I chase the gold. That's right. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever broken up with someone over a text message. I don't think I've ever broken up with anybody. <laughs> Usually it's always me. I was going to say, I've never broken up with somebody over a text message, but I've gotten dumped over a text message. Yeah, neither for me. Yeah, the police were involved, so we could not see no. each other. Yeah. Oh, you've you got to stop us about hitting that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've talked about oh, that. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, parents did not like me one bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Was it because you were good like people. 19 yeah, and she was like seven? No, they're no, just good people. Like? They're just good judges of character. Ah, oh, no. Enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a great time. Let that me tell you that. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Uh, but, yeah. So, uh, no, but I have never, I've never dumped somebody over a self. Suck it up, man. Go and do it uh, over the phone, on a phone call. Yeah. Do it right in person. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> How dare you do text it in me. person on their birthday like a real man? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, people that used to like break up over instant messenger on on AOL. This isn't that working. Shit? Oh God. So no, I've never. Uh, but yeah, Derek. I just said I never even broke it up. With oh, anybody. that's right. You yeah. never been. You never. I, I always got dumped. I I, never, but you get surprisingly dumped, enough. Yeah. But did you get dumped over a text message? Uh, kinda. I think on uh, I think on instant messenger I have. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and oh, nice. Facebook Messenger. Yeah. yeah. It's about, that's it's, great. Yeah. How about you, JP? Nope, never, neither way. Neither way. Oh, well that's good for you. Uh, people people you, don't break up with somebody like me, Scott. I I know that not to be true. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. Oh, God. Anyway, next way. Uh, sorry. Any, anyway, next one comes in from Danny Martinez. Danny Martinez. There you go, buddy. They call him Danny Martinez. <laughs> Dirty Danny. <laughs> he wants to know. I'm just guessing because his last name is Martinez. Yep. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he, he wants to know, never have I ever been hit in the nuts so hard that I threw up. I... 
Uh, Not that I can think of. I did as a kid, but it's very sad. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. No, it, it's not. Dude, I, I don't got, think it is sad. It made me laugh, and I don't even know the story. I got bullied bad. Oh, uh, that's and, uh, that sucks. I, had, I think that's why somebody I have the, kicked you in the nuts. No, four people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did yeah. they have a podcast no. with oh, an entire no, cast of I'm people? So no, no, I'm no, so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're good. That I, was gold, dude. <laughs> was, I would have never guessed that that was going to be the that's, response. That's not no even, four people. That's not even what happened. Oh, uh, I, I was held down, and uh, that like two were holding me down, and one would grab my leg. This sounds like a dream I've had. <laughs> no, this happened, and then fucking stomped on him. Oh, and then the next one went over and. And they fucking rotated around. Oh, my God. I was probably like, I think it was like eight or nine, and I fucking puked my guts out after that. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, that's true. That happened. Oh. Wow. Man, you want to talk about a downer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, great there school goes and the shit. Sh we were having a great show. <laughs> <laughs> great school Dude, and shit. Dude, that's crazy, that's, bro. I got bullied like a motherfucker. That's Me why too, I, but that's, not like that. That's why I understand school shooters. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, my shit. God. Man, you weren't kidding. Yeah. Uh, wow, I'd have probably dressed in all black and helped you. <laughs> right? Fuck. Yeah, that was, wow. dude, was fucking miserable. That's, that's crazy. That's have you ever looked any of those guys up today? I don't even remember who it was that did it at this yeah. point. He's, I remember one of them. He's I don't find know. Them. He's, he's find like them. that guy in Billy Madison that has a list and he puts on lipstick yeah. and shit. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. I do that without the list. I should get a list. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I need? A list. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can use the lipstick to write oh, on it. Fuck, why did I think of this? Shit. I've never... <laughs> I, I know for a fact I did not throw <laughs> up, but uh, whenever I was playing baseball in high school, I... <laughs> fuck you. Uh... When I was playing baseball in high school, I uh, I could not read a curveball from a lefty very well, and I got a curveball directly to the nuts. And now I, that's funny. I I also played the outfield, and outfielders normally don't wear cups because they're just not in that situation. So I did not have a cup on, and I took I took a fucking bender straight to the cock. No good. And it I, I was on the ground for a while. So poor, poor that, ball. Yeah, that's happened to me before. How about you, JP? Not that I can think of. Like something that you didn't want to happen? I did meet a guy on Grinder <laughs> once oh that wanted God. me to kick him in the nuts. Oh, uh, no. But uh, no. never me. No. Not that I can remember. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure at some point I've gotten racked, and I just don't. <laughs> I mean, I just don't. Oh, yeah, I don't really remember. I remember my cousin one time. We got a trampoline. <laughs> But, Did you put it in the front yard? Please tell parents, me it's in the front yard. Dude, no. <laughs> okay. But my parents, they didn't care about us. So they didn't get the they didn't get the pads that oh, went yeah, with it. Yeah. And my dad was like three hundred and forty dollars for a pad. <laughs> you guys will be fine. Go ahead. <laughs> so we're fucking jumping, and we double jump my cousin, and he fucking man, he's up there and just <laughs> boom right between oh, his yeah. legs, a, between a spring and the the frame of the Ooh, trampoline. Oh yes, yeah. dude, I've never heard someone scream like that in all my <laughs> life. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, never me. I don't think when this show first actually kicked off, uh, when it was still called the unfiltered sports cast, there was a video that came out on YouTube that I, it's still one of my favorite, but this guy did a backflip off like a scoreboard at a baseball game and landed on the fence, on the fence straddling the fence Oof. on his nuts. Oof. And that's like one of my favorite videos of all time. Nice. So anyways, uh, anyways, next one. Uh, this one comes in for your mom's new man. Your mom's new man. Yeah. Is it JP? No. 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 Oh, okay. I mean, although I am thinking about going back to women. Are you? Yep. You might get somewhere. Yeah, I'm serious, man. Yeah? Because women still are attracted to guys of a certain age. Sure. Gay guys? Not, not, so not unless you got money, and I don't know what you know about me. But you are loaded. No, no, no. Don't have a lot of money. Just sell all your weed. <sighs> no, <laughs> I don't think so, Scotty. Oh, okay, that's fine. 
Uh, anyways, uh, your mom's new man wants to know, never have I ever eaten something terrible but pretended it tasted good to not seem like a dick. Oh, I have the last 100% f- I have. Oh. The last four weeks? Yeah. <laughs> the last yeah. four weeks. Jesus Christ. Your poor wife. I had fucking pasta made out of hearts of palm. Oh, they weren't even God. noodles. What? Oh. Yeah. What's hearts of palm? It tastes like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. I know they make pasta out of it. It tastes more like reason. asshole of bamboo than hearts of palm. <laughs> Where do, like, and where do you get this? Uh, there was a keto store. Okay. Uh, now it's out in Derby. Oh, so, so yeah. we went there and yeah. mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you say wow. hi to Jeremy while you were out there? No, I Damn, didn't. Know. You should have called, call, called him. You guys should have met up at a Home Depot. It or would something. have been more fun. It probably would have. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's why I didn't even bring it up on my week, week recap. No, you're fine. Uh, I think everybody's done this. Yeah, I, for sure. I mean, come on, everybody has yeah. done that. And then, and then you can't eat any more of it because it's so nasty, but you're like, oh, man, I'm just full. I, Liver and waxed beans. Oh, disgusting. What the At fuck? At my aunt and uncle's house when Ugh. we were kids. Yuck. I don't remember the meal. I just know what happened. No, I remember the meal. Derek looks like so, he has something to say. So we're doing this, like, lo, the, what we're doing is, like, low carb and sugar, no sugar shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so my wife made, we bought the, we found these egg wraps. Oh, essentially yeah, Essentially yeah. is what they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's like no carbs in them. And so we bought, she bought a big box of them and it was like six regular. And I guess six were like cinnamon. And so she's like, for breakfast, I'm going to make peanut butter, like crepes out of them, which basically is peanut butter. And that's it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like on this fucking thing. So she rolls it up and it's or folds it over, whatever she did with peanut butter. And I think she had a couple of like uh, sugar free chocolate chips she put on top and that's a dollop of whipped cream that her mom had brought that had like nothing in it really. And I'm like, okay. So she brings down, I've got two on my plate and I'm like, (laughs) 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 and I get through the first one (laughs) and I'm like, maybe halfway through the second one. And finally, instead of trying to be nice, I was like, I can't fucking do it anymore. (laughs) Like I, I, I got nothing left. And she's like, looks at me and she's like finally i think me stopping made her go yeah i think i'm having trouble with this too and i'm like <laughs> jesus fucking now i know what the dog feels like yeah. this is ridiculous oh jesus fuck man I, I there is such thing as too much peanut butter come to find out <laughs> yeah i love peanut butter yeah but fuck that <laughs> yep uh, well, that is where uh, that is. Uh, never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. This is JP's favorite segment. I love it. He loves it. Uh, first one. Uh, this is actually kind of modified because it actually came from two people. Jeremiah Clausen. Kind of, Jeremiah Clausen. He had this one kind of nailed right on the head, but it's very similar to. I'm going to go James. I think it's close on. Okay. Jeremiah clothes on mm-hmm. and Could James be. uh I want to say it's a ta- at the lawn no, he's Italiano okay. Italiano James Italiano <laughs> okay fine one's got all his clothes on and the other one's Italiano <laughs> okay <laughs> sounds fun JP you're not gonna like either one of them probably not okay uh but they both want to know uh where do you draw the line how long is too long to wait to see a doctor when you don't feel good <laughs> stupid fucking rich people <laughs> going to their doctors <laughs> Yeah. Silly bastards. Yeah. I, I got insurance when I was people 37. People with insurance. Yeah, people so, with insurance. I'm going to say 19 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I never go to the doctor. I should. Yeah. But. I went when I signed up for a medical study. <laughs> that was about it. And they paid me 20 bucks and yeah. gave me a sandwich. I got 100 bucks for getting COVID. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. Yep. Yeah. Um, Man, I mean, now we're getting to the age now. All of us are, are uh, 40 or getting close to that particular area. Speak for yourself. Fuck yeah. off. Uh, Eat a ween. Uh-huh. I'm still 36. That's right. Me too. Uh, but I don't know, man. If and you're, hamster years. If, if you're like... Speaking of hamsters. <laughs> I'm saying like if you're sick and you, yeah. you really need to go see somebody, I say if you I have to go to the ER because I don't have insurance. That's fine. Uh, but I mean, go to the emergency room. That's same thing. Same okay. thing. But All like, right. if I, for me, and I know I've seen me do it. I was legitimately sick for two straight weeks. Went to the doctor and found out that uh, my uh, like tonsils and shit like that were about ready to explode. So yeah, damn and, JP, nice job. Yeah, buddy. 
Um, so it, I don't it's, fuck around. So I ended up having to get like surgery and have them removed and stuff like that. And, and now so, I don't bang into anything anymore. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently my my line is two weeks. Two weeks okay. of being sick. I'll go and see somebody about it. You ever, you ever notice whenever you're fucking like if you finally decide I'm going to go to the doctor because I'll wait forever. I now do have insurance, but I'll still wait. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, if I'm not dying, somebody else needs in there worse than I do. I'm the same. I don't want to take up an appointment. Yeah. But have you ever noticed, like, let's say your nose is all fucking clogged up and you're achy and you don't feel good. And you're like, all right, God damn it. I'm calling the doctor and you stand up and you go to get your phone and all of a sudden your nostrils are like, all right, man, we're just fucking around. Like your whole body clears up. Oh yeah. You feel better immediately. And then you're like, well, maybe tomorrow. I have a friend that's a PA. So she just fucking calls me in prescriptions. Oh, that's nice. That's a, a, that's a good connection to have. She's a PA announcer and she's able to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. She's way cooler than you. Yeah. She's, she's the one, she's the backup to Derek whenever he wants to go on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but so, so how long is it for you? Oh, never. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. Death. You're, yeah. That's where you draw the line. Yeah. Death. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Next one. Chase Golden has another one. Chase Golden. Yeah. Good for you, buddy. Number two. Number two. He's like there, Derek. So. Yeah, he's a two-time winner. He's a two-time winner, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chase Golden. My wants two is way better than my four. <laughs> <laughs> Chase wants to know how old is too old to participate in a mosh pit. 73 that's pretty good that's pretty good now if you're 70 71 72 i say mosh it up mosh it but at 73 up. it's time to fucking grow up and fucking hang up your mosh pit shoes there is a woman uh who apparently there's a tiktok that went viral of her at a shinedown concert and she is at the front of the fence and i mean she is fucking going all for it and she looked like she was at least 65 nice and uh, she was having the time of her life. And, oh, yeah. And so I'm, I'm going to say, you know, if you can walk and you're not scared to break a hip. And you don't you know, have osteoporosis. Or that. Uh, <laughs> that would be a bad. Or some kind of sexually transmitted disease that you can pass on with, you know, from somebody accidentally putting their finger in your butt. Go for it, man. Have a good okay. time. That's fine. Does that uh, happen a lot in the mosh pit? Uh, I mean, no. That's more like crowd surfing. But. Mosh pit, crowd surfing, potato, potato. Anytime I can get a finger in the butt, you know I'm in. Try crowd surfing. You'll get one. All right. Yep. How about you, Derek? Uh, I don't know. I never, I always stayed away from them anyway. Yeah. But I, I would say probably 40. 40. I was at a concert. Uh, I listened to predominantly rap. Yeah. Uh, but I do like some rock and shit. And then whenever they first came here, I want to say, I want to say it was disturbed when they came oh, here fuck yeah. years ago. And I went to that, and I, it's the fucking funniest shit I've ever seen. Because there's this big, tall dude who's probably in his 50s, has a mullet, has a beer in one hand, <laughs> and a fucking big old cigar, like half smoked in the other. Great. Not lit, just has it. And he's walking on the floor, and I'm just kind of hanging off by the side. And he walks kind of towards the pit, and he like he's right in front of me and gets bumped. And like a little bit of beer sloshes out of his glass onto my shoe. And I, he's oh. like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, no, man, don't worry about it. And he fucking bumps, gets bumped into again and more sloshes out. It doesn't hit me, but it's near me. He's like, man, I'm, I'm sorry. And I'm like, no, it's not your fault, man. Don't worry about it. And then he gets knocked into again and he just fucking takes the glass of beer, slams it down, takes the cigar, slams it down fucking straight into the pit and he was gone until the end of the show oh, wow. <laughs> fucking comes out no shirt dripping sweat and i'm like jesus fucking christ, christ. that's awesome that's what you do uh next one uh comes in from brandon i want to say brandon latarde i Let, think latard <laughs> <laughs> that's french for retard in that case it would be bland and <laughs> He's retarded, not deaf. Oh, okay. I thought that was pretty much pretty good. That's pretty, that pretty good. good. Uh, so Brandon uh, Latardi, I think is how you pronounce it. Latardi. Latardi. Uh, he wants to know. You retard. <laughs> Whoa, you well, My brother Bilo. It's good that you let the retard. Uh, <laughs> my life. Uh, he wants to know how much are you willing to spend to go to see your favorite team play in the Super Bowl? I don't think I ever got to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't either. Uh, I, I, I'd I, say like twelve hundred. I, oh god damn it! 
I I know I'm a cheap prick, but <clears throat> I would I don't know if I would want to go. Yeah, you would. No, I don't think I would. Well, because you're a fucking downer. You never want to do anything, but then when you do it, you have a good time. Uh, well, and that's possibly something that has to do with it. But I, like, whenever like Wichita State was in the Final Four, I didn't want to go because I was like, listen, the chances of us winning this next game is significantly low, and I don't want to spend eight hundred dollars a ticket to go we- watch them lose, and then the drive home be absolutely depressing. And uh, on top of that, I don't really want to spend that much to go see a game anyway. I'd much rather watch it in my own living room. Why? Because I can yell at the TV and drink beer for free. And it's way better on TV. It is. It's way better. Yeah. So, yeah. You see everything. I'm talking, and I know I'm cheap. I'm talking 150 bucks a person. Ooh. That's that's You are cheap. I know. But I can go to a Cardinal game. I can go to, I probably go to a Detroit Lions game for that. You go to a Royals game for that. You can. You can go to all the Royals games. (laughs) (laughs) That's season. And tickets pass yeah. right there, so that's me. Uh, how about you, Derek? Thousand bucks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'd spend I'd spend a thousand, but I. Well, I guess it kind of depends because I'm not going to spend a thousand and sit nosebleed. Yeah, that's I'm true. just not going to do it. That's why I went twelve hundred, just because. Yeah, that extra two hundred bucks was yeah. going to get you closer. Nah, Grease no. the wheels, baby. If you want middle, you got to pay an usher. It's going to be like four grand. Oh, for sure. Oh, never mind. Sure. Grand, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Who wants to be at the Super Bowl anyway? That's where they're going to set the so, bombs off. Yeah. Well, how about this? What's the maximum? It doesn't even have to be a Super Bowl. Let's say it's not the Super Bowl. If you can go and but the just, question's the Super Bowl. I get it, but I'm I'm just editing in this here. But if you wanted to go see a Bronco game, I wanted to go see a Cardinal game. It wasn't the Super Bowl, but you could go and watch a good game. What would be the max that you'd spend? It's not the Super Bowl. It's not the World Series. It's just, just a game. Decent it's a, it's a de- not like on yeah. the field. It's decent seats. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm more likely to. I, I'm more likely to go to that than the 150 NBA. bucks. I, I would if it's if it's that situation and it's like a game that doesn't mean a whole lot, but I can go watch like the Cardinals and a team I really wanted to see. I'd spend 200 bucks a person. Yeah, I'd be about 200, 250 maybe. Okay, maybe cool. 250. All right, that's depending good. on who they're playing. Yeah, exactly. You know how much the weed I could buy with 250 dollars? Yeah, huh? You know how much weed I can buy for 250 dollars? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. No shit. Think of how many seeds you could buy and then grow your own. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down. I know. Uh, next one comes in from Cody Duffy. Uh, Cody to Duffy. Yeah, he, this is the last one. Uh, he wants to know. Patrick's kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. For sure. Uh, Cody wants to know, how many constant repairs uh, do you have to have make? Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. How many constant repairs do you have to make on your vehicle before it's labeled a piece of shit? Scotty, you should take this one. Yeah. This is a trick question because the actual number of repairs that you complete on your vehicle is actually zero, and that's how it becomes a piece of shit. You stop fixing it. That's what happens. Well, my car's a piece of shit. I fix it. That's true, but uh, I actually help you out, dog. Yeah, man, you need, I need, I'm going to need your help I, I a know. lot this time. I know. I got uh, you, dog. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's on the warranty. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because if it's not, you just pull it right back out of the I fucking know. shop, and I'll I keep know. putting antifreeze in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's when it becomes a piece uh, of shit. When you stop fixing I'm stuff, there. it will eventually deteriorate I'm and there. become Dude, a piece of Dude, when they shit. pulled my tire off. The I went to the, uh, this little Mexican place on Harry and Hillside. Oh yeah, yeah. Dude came back out. His eyes were like fucking like saucers, and he's like, "Your cords were oh chilling. shit, man! <laughs> I can't believe you're alive." And he's like, <laughs> he's like. That tire is a bubble on there. Oh, yeah. That big <laughs> on the inside, and the cords are broken. Oh, yeah. I was like, uh, I've been driving on that for a month <laughs> on fucking like 75 mile an hour, just <laughs> yeah. fucking highway. So, uh, yeah, it was good to get those changed. Yeah, it is. How about you, Derek? Uh, well, I know I put three transmissions in one car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, At the same time. He yeah. wanted to see. He wanted they to were all shift within really three smooth. years. Yeah, yeah they were that's all, yeah. They're so, all warranty. I'm going to go two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two consecutive to where you're like, God damn it, fuck this thing. Yep, yep. That, was that three transmissions. My dad, stepdad had a fucking old Cutlass. Uh, or no, it was an old eighty eight. Yeah. Ooh, I had a fucking old Delta eighty eight Brome edition. That I would drive. Motherfucker that. was bad. It had like hundred and eighty nine thousand miles on it, and I wouldn't take my eighty nine thousand mile Mercury Cougar anywhere out of, out of town. I mm-hmm. would go borrow his car and take it. 
Can you imagine that was my wife's car when we first met? Oh yeah, yeah. She was driving a ninety-eight eighty-eight. Mine was an Big eighty. Ass boat. Mine was an eighty-nine Delta eighty-eight custom Woo. brome fucking doll the fucking tufted fucking seating. God damn that car! It was my favorite car I've ever had. Oh, I'm sure they're fucking dude. They're, they're boats, amazing, dude. They're rock solid. I love that fucking car. Uh, uh how about I, you, JP? Sorry, constant. Oh, sorry. I went consecutive. Oh, okay. So that's what yeah. I was thinking. Constant. I would say like. Uh, I'd say after about three in a certain time, time yeah, frame. Yeah. Then, then you're like, I give up. Yeah. I give, I'm done with this. Mm-hmm. How about you, JP? I already answered. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. I said however many times I've had the car in your shop. Yeah, that's true. So three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is, that is where I draw the line for this week. Thank you guys for participating in that. But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Baby. Questions and pregnant questions. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, first question comes in from Michael Bowerman. He wants to uh, know, ruin a movie title by changing one word. Die Tard. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a drama now about a <laughs> mentally challenged kid that gets brutally picked on. It's about... It's they hold about him down bl- and they stomp on his nuts four times. Oh. It's about <laughs> Blandon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Blandon's life story. It's Blandon's life story. Uh, uh, I, I'll do a callback. I'll, I'll do a uh, uh, boy story. Yeah, I did that one. Yeah, already. that was a while ago. But that's uh, now it's going to be starring JP. There you go, bud. Good luck with that. How about you? Swallow. It's like Jaws. <laughs> it's like Jaws, but it's not. Yeah, there you go. Instead of Jaws, just be it's called Swallow. It's called Swallow. And then, yeah, I still remember same music, but then I come around the corner. Fine. I yeah. still remember Travis Cagle had a fucking joke he did about how he just wanted them to make a Jaws porno parody because he wanted to hear them go. We're gonna need a bigger throat. <laughs> oh, God. I fucking, I'll never forget that fucking joke. That dude is so, so fucking funny. I love that. Dude. I regret not reading these ahead of time sometimes, and this is one of them. Yeah, because there's there's got to be a whole bunch. Oh, of there's people. a ton. I mean, there's there's definitely. But I'm so high. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean when I come to do the show that. I can't. I'm not as quick. Oh, yeah. And so I should have read that one, and I would have some more for uh, you. But that's, that's okay. Sorry about that, Michael. No worries. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know, if you could choose how each other die, how would you make them die? Like between the three of us? Between the three of us. I would get people to hold Derek down. <laughs> <laughs> and just everybody come stomp on his nuts. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. That'd probably yeah. do it. You... I would throw you out of an airplane. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, no. That's how I would do it. Okay. Over uh, the ocean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. S- yeah. Scotty? Yeah. No um, parachute. You are going to be in a boat in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the boat is going to capsize. Oh, great. Um, you're going to be on a life raft. Oh, okay. With two skunks. Oh, great. That's it. That's it. Uh, 127 days. Oh. Um, you, the only way you're surviving this long is by milking the skunks and drinking the milk. <laughs> um, you're going to be surrounded by sharks. They oh, just yeah. keep swimming around and around. And then somehow you're like, fuck it. I'm jumping in and I'm swimming for it. And almost when you get to the beach, you're like so close. And then the sharks just swim off. You get to the beach, man, bear, pig. Oh, man, bear, pig. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Awesome. I'm super serial. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, and JP. Yeah. Um, it's 115 degrees out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been we're in the middle of a heat wave. 13 days now in a row. Uh, nobody's air conditioning's working. Uh, you go into a lesbian bar. <laughs> oh, that's a, that would do it. <laughs> and that would do it. And you're beaten to death by naked women in Birkenstocks. That, uh, you know, <laughs> if you. If you change it from 115 degrees to 112 degrees, that almost happened. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, mine for JP is actually very similar. Uh, JP, you are going to be tied down at a one of those uh, sex uh, stores that you go to. I'm with you so far. (laughs) That he goes to. Which one does he go to? (laughs) There's like three of them. You got to be more specific. It's at Vegas Video. Okay. I knew that's the one's just down the street. (laughs) Anyways, uh, you're in the back room, and you are tied down and cannot move. So far, I like it. 
and a lesbian comes in and oh. sits on your face. Oh my god! And suffocates you. I would you to instantly death. die. I would <laughs> die just of sheer fucking panic to Absolutely. see it. the minute it started coming toward me. I would probably fucking have a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. That's how you. <laughs> oh and no. She's, oh, and she's the size of. Uh, oh yeah, big girl. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Lizzo. Oh, it's, it's a Lizzo. My oh, yeah. God. It, yeah, that's how you no. die. Yeah, death by yeah. asphyxiation. Death by <laughs> asphyxiation. God damn it. God that, bless. That's good. That is good. And uh, Derek, uh-huh. <laughs> it is a uh, National League uh, championship game. Oh, nice. Right? And it is the Cardinals against the Cubs. Okay. Okay? You are sitting in left field, front row. I already know where you're going. And a St. Louis Cardinal comes up it's a tie ball game bases loaded and two out well you guys got real specific and <laughs> he hits a towering fly ball that just makes it over the fence and you try to catch it yeah. and it hits you in the face game over and you die from that that's baseball. gonna have to get me in the temple scott it'll get you okay it, it'll get you but that's how and uh, and then they blame it on you. That that would be all right too. Okay. Yep. That's how uh, that's how we die. Uh, yeah. It was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and next one comes in from the ser- another serial killer, Jacob Paul Hazen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rejected events for the Paralympic <laughs> Games. Hundred yard dash. Uh, I I saw one that needs to be rejected, but it was really fucking funny. And it is um it is the blind long jump. Nice. Oh, man. But this is Paralympic Games. Guys. Dude, have you seen the blind soccer? Uh, yeah, I've seen that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I still love Bell the and the ball so they know where it's at. and he's, That's crazy. Yeah. They're good. I know. I love the video of the kid, the blind kid playing football, and then in the background they got, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and like playing. Uh, and he's but, just running all over the field. <laughs> so, but but what a, was the question? Well, it's Paralympic re- Games. Rejected, rejected Paralympic events. Games. I know, rejected events from Paralympic Games. But I know this is, does not uh, qualify. But it was a blind uh, long jumper. And it was so funny because, obviously, he takes on running and you count your steps. But he could not stay within the lines. So he takes off and he misses the fucking, just fucking sand pit. Oh, yeah. It was just bad. That's fun. And it was pretty funny. Yeah. But anyways, uh, that's, that's not one of the. Uh, uh, events. Mm-hmm. So, um, I uh, well, I guess anything to do with legs, really. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like uh, downhill swimming. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 wheelchair yeah. swimming. Yeah, uh, I was thinking like like downhill uh, wheelchair yeah, races. Right. Okay. That sounds a little dangerous. The luge. <laughs> yeah, the luge. That would be all That'd right. That'd be a tough one because yeah. you a lot of that control comes from your arms and legs. <laughs> I got it. Pull. Otherwise, you're just a fucking 180 pound piece of fucking. Oh yeah, you're, you're an avalanche. Yeah, oh, yeah. basically. I, pole vault. Pole vault this, would be a good yeah, one. Yeah, this has got to be a pole vault. I'm gonna go with the balance beam. That's uh, a good one too. That's a good one. Rings, but you still have the chair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. just hanging there. Uh, no, no bullshit. There are pe- there are definitely people that can do that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know if this is a real thing. Not me. But this would be totally awesome if they had half pipe. Oh yeah, I would fucking pay to see that. That is not. I'm a re- going to YouTube that. That's got to be a thing. 100. percent And that has or like an escape bowl, like where they're yes. That, Tell me that's a thing. That would be so fucking cool. That's not rejected. I'm fucking looking at this now. <laughs> that, that's what we need to have. I'm looking at this. Paralympic. Please be a thing. Half pipe. Half pipe. Wheelchair half pipe. I think that it oh, has I mean, to be. There's got to be some videos, but they're probably able-bodied people. I know that there's that definitely some like uh, the Red Bull guys. I'm and going Jack wheelchair right. skate park. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, he did it. Wheelchair freestyle wheels gnarly oh there we go come on yeah this is good this is oh good there pot, he goes there we, oh material. down he goes <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long oh, that took a lot less oh, time <laughs> that shit. took a lot less time than i thought i think that's great though <laughs> that's that's le- yes. that's legit awesome i think that's cool yeah i think that's uh that's good that's a good that, that's i mean dude, i would fucking pay to go watch that oh for sure as long as you land on your legs you're not gonna hurt yourself exactly <laughs> <laughs> true 
Uh, what was it, the movie uh, Don't Be a Menace? Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah. Whatever, they fucking have the drive-by and the one dude that's paralyzed. <laughs> look, like, look I dog. can't feel my legs. Yeah. Fool, you've been paralyzed for five years. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next one. <laughs> fucking pacifiers. That's what I would say. Next one comes in from Ian Smoke PW. He wants to know things you wish you could fast forward. This show. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. Thanks, guy. Mm-hmm. Just like, keep laughing, assholes. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, damn it. Now they know how it's going to end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh, anytime I go to the airport. Yeah. If it was that, if, if it was the airport, the plane ride. And, work. Uh, yeah, ooh. work for sure. Nah, sometimes it's funny. Sometimes, no. sometimes no. it's funny, and it's and Never. I'd want to be there, so I don't want to yeah. do that. Never, uh, but no, I uh, definitely airport for me. How about you, Derek? Family events. Oh, <laughs> good one. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, I kind of agree with you on that one. Uh, let's go with last one. This one comes Two in. girls, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You never fast forward that. <laughs> That's no. true. I kept rewinding. Yeah. Uh, Slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That would make me puke. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Um, anyways, last one comes in from Rudy Jamie. He wants to know rejected songs to be played during sexy time. The national anthem. <laughs> That's a good one. I just want to see some guy like in the middle of a blow job <laughs> and then it starts playing and him scream at the girl for not standing up and putting her hand over her heart. <laughs> Just like, God damn it, my daddy fought in two wars. Oh, I'll be goddamn if you're going to be some bitch calling Kaepernick down on your knees. Oh, lordy. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. Okay. I would be fantastic. Uh, How patriotic are you? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. You got anything down Anything there? by Adele. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that that's happened before. Uh, well, that would be real hard to fuck, too. <laughs> <laughs> Out of medium pace by Adam Sandler. Oh yeah, that's the goat. Um, <laughs> Big goat. Uh, I just what the fuck is superimposed? <laughs> I think uh, like just a small town girl. Oh yeah, you think <laughs> that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It would just piss Derek off. Something fierce. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, see. anything by Sting either. Okay. Yeah, Sting or Adele, and if God forbid they would get together and sing I, together, that I, would really be bad. I know there are people that out there do this, but like Slipknot. You know, I mean, you probably could, but uh, wh- who sings that? Well, let the bodies hit the floor. That's let drowning the- pool. Yeah, that's that would be yeah tough. We that was the concert. Drowning oh, pool. It? That was the yeah. one with the big tall dude that oh. banged into shit. But it was before <laughs> the guy died. Wow, yeah. nice. All right, not the tall guy, the lead singer. Look at that. We've come for full circle. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I, I actually just thought of another one. Uh, the Jaws theme song. I think that would be a. Little, no, I think that would be kind of hot. I don't. I don't. Scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. yeah that's not. Dick in a box. <laughs> yeah. Anything by Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Slow shit. jams could work. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so much for participating. Sincerely do appreciate it. Froggy fresh. Froggy fresh. <laughs> that Krispy Kreme dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I technically get a win. Where Te- you go? Technically. Technically. Hey, we'll take it. Anytime. That's right. You get a win. Jeremy's not here, so Jeremy won last week. Um, and then, uh, JP, you technically get second because you're here this week. Nice. And Derek wasn't here, so he gets uh, he gets last place. So that means that Derek gets the first pick of the draft. JP's the sandwich, which is his favorite. Love it. And then I get the championship picks. Uh, this week's <laughs> I'm draft. The mayonnaise. <laughs> You're the mayonnaise. You couldn't be more mayo. How about the peanut butter? You're the peanut butter. Oh. You're the peanut butter and the crepe, JP. That's, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, but this well, here we go. <laughs> this week's draft uh, comes in from Taylor Morosky. She gave us yay this idea. Taylor. Yeah. I think that uh, if I switch to women, I might ask her out. Okay, that's yeah. fine. 
She's pretty hot. And I think it's really cool because all of the people like on Monday Funday, uh, she's apologizing for yeah, getting some. It's like every, everybody's so cool about it. Like, no, you give good suggestions. Yeah, I, Don't I love stop. that everybody's so positive I toward am, her, I too. too. Yeah, I think man. it's fucking awesome. I agree. Uh, but she had the idea for the draft, which is going to be the worst songs to hear at karaoke. Okay? Uh, Derek, unfortunately, get... You get the first pick, and you have probably the most experience in this. Yeah, worked in one of these bars for five years. That's correct. So uh, journey, what? don't stop believing. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah, I uh, didn't even. I knew that was going to be the one. I didn't even write it down. I, I know. Yeah, I know. And and he's right. It's yeah. it's not it's not good because somebody uh, fucks it up. Uh, JP, you get one. A uh, buttercup. What is buttercup? You know. Uh. Uh-uh. Butter. Build me up. Buttercup. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know what it's really called. I, but I, I know. It's fucking awful. <laughs> I, uh, all right. I, this was a good joke at one point in time, but it has ran its fucking course. And I'm going to go with tequila. Okay. Yeah. That was funny. It was one. funny. It was funny. It once. was funny. Once. But it's, it's a knock knock joke that has been told too many fucking times. So I'm going to go with tequila as my first one, and I'm going to take one of Derek's because he is 100% right. This was probably your number two, and he has a joke about it. And, again, he's 100% right, but whenever you hear we are family, you asshole, <laughs> and it is always, always two or more overweight women up there screaming their fucking heads off. Mm. So I am going to take that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, JP, you get one. Uh, Margaritaville. Oh man, I kind of like that one. Mm. You don't even have to be a good singer, right? That's yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. that's true. I don't like it. Yeah, okay. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh good fuck, one. that is a good one. Damn it. Ah, uh, all right. And your third. I will always love you. I will, which one is Whitney that? Houston. No. Oh, yeah. Talk about a butcher job. Yeah. yeah. Big fucking yeah. time. And they belt that shit out. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah. And they're off key every time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, why I picked it. And they yeah. think they're good at it. Uh huh. They think they're really good at it. So, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, all right, JP, go for it. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, no, that's rap. You could get away with that. It's just, I don't want to hear somebody else fucking sing it. I, I know. Like, shut the f- fuck off. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I, this is, oh, fuck. This is such a good pick. I am going to go with Let It Go from Frozen. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Holy shit. That's pretty good. It's awful. Oh, uh, but I also, and there's always uh, one country guy in every bar who's three sheets to the fucking wind, and he oh, always you're wants to take mine. He always goes up there and he's wants to sing "Achy Breaky." Oh, thank heart. God you didn't take mine. Oh, uh, I got another oh, one. That, that was I, close. I know, but I thought I, you had me. I, I do, and it's 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 the next one. If you don't take it, oh, you, I'm gonna take it. You're gonna take it. Well, this is your, it's your pick. Friends in low places. God damn it, you Fuck got it. it. That was the one I was. That was kind of waiting on, but I, know, I can't wait any longer. I, well, you would have got it before I got back, but but yes, you're exactly right. There's always that guy too. Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, Derek, you get your last two in a row. Uh, Sweet Caroline. Yep. That's um, the one I'm talking about. I already said that. No, you said Buttercup. That's the same song. Fill me up, Buttercup. buttercup uh, no. No, no, that's, that's different. That's yeah. different. Uh, this that, is, well, that's the one I wanted. Sweet Caroline. Well, too bad. <laughs> Sweet Caroline is what every single You're going like, to win. Like You're a fuck. Boston Red Sox <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's okay. A good one. And uh, you get your last one. Only God knows why. <laughs> Really? Kid Rock. Oh, man. I like that one. I, I mean, you, li- you might like it when he sings it. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you could also put picture on there. Yeah, yeah I was you gonna could. Say that'd be a decent one. Yep. All right. And JP, what is your last pick? Barbie World. God damn it, Barbie mm. girl, you motherfucker, because that was what my last pick was going to be. Not anymore. Urgh, that sucks. I got some honorable mentions if you uh, i know i do too um oh fuck i got two that i really i, I that i like 
But um, mm, I'm going to go. I love how you think this matters. I, I know, but. Everybody's like, going to vote for Derek. I, he, Not right. necessarily. I, I'm going to go with Wanna Be by Spice Girls. That's a, okay. Uh, but I almost picked I'm Too Sexy for My Shirt. I like that one. I right, know. Ted, Fred. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll sing the fuck out of that. But again, it's always that guy. I have a great voice for that song. <laughs> you do. <Yeah. laughs> you, sh- you should go and I sing I do it. it. I do it at karaoke every time. I've got that. I thought of Macarena. But, I have Macarena for my honorable mention. Yeah, but that thing is, is that it's more of a dance song anyways. You can suck yeah. at singing it, yeah. and so it's not that big of a deal. I know you've got probably a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. Anything by Adele. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's good. Uh, Truth Hurts is another one. That's oh, another yeah. One. Father Figure by George yeah. Michael. Uh, I love that song, ooh. and I've heard it butchered so many times I at karaoke. I don't know That's the name of the one. song, but Three Dog Night, I've never been to heaven, but I've been to Oklahoma. That one is terrible. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, man. My I, Way. I'm. Oh, yeah, but that's by Sinatra. Frank. That's by Frank. You can't. Not you, Usher. Mm-mm. No. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Not Usher. God, I love Frank Sinatra. Killing uh, Me Softly. Yep. Is a bad one. It killed me loudly. Copa. Copacabana. Fuck. It's, that's Dude, she thing. was a showgirl. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Her name was Lola. <laughs> there is a video, and it's stuck in my head for fucking like a week. And it's, uh, I think it's that song. And the start of it goes, she was working as a waitress at a cocktail bar. And that's all he sings. Oh, you know what I'm man. talking about? He was like, she was working yeah, as a waitress, waitress at a cocktail, cocktail bar. bar. <laughs> and then he was like, at a cocktail bar. And it was like, working. As a waitress <laughs> at a cocktail bar, working as a waitress, <laughs> was, don't you love me, baby? In a cocktail bar, and nonstop, dude. And I've watched that video, That's and I had awesome. it saved. Like I had to keep fucking watching yeah. it. Like, <laughs> my wife cool. was going crazy, <laughs> going through Dylan's, and I'm fucking like looking at like. Fucking pasta, and I'm like working as a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, stop it, fucking stop it. Uh, last one for honorable mention, and I should have picked it, but oops, I did it again by Britney Spears. Good one. Oh, uh, I think that's worse than I want to be. I went more along the lines of shit that people just fucking butcher. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was going. I with. just think of really annoying women going up and screaming. That's, oh, that's we are family. I still yeah. don't like. I like big butts. I don't like that song. I don't either. Because it's like all. I'm surprised. All overweight women, please report to the dance floor now. <laughs> yeah. Like ah no no please don't. There's one I'm surprised because that you haven't said because it's your least oh, favorite Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. I, yeah. It wasn't out when I was working in karaoke bars. Thank Christ. <laughs> but it was out whenever you were bartending. Toes in the sand was out. Oh, when I was doing yeah. that, yeah, and that was fucking miserable. Derek, when he was when he was bartending, he would have. Uh, well, you tell the story because anytime that uh, we used to get free credit. Yeah. So, like, you would get, like, depending on how many people checked into the jukebox every week uh, from the app, you would get, like, up to 15 credits a week. So, I would let them accumulate, and then people would play fucking Tennessee Whiskey, and I would immediately fast pass Baby Shark right after it <laughs> every time. Yep. No sharks ever came. No. no. But um, but people would get pissed. Oh, they get fucking very mad. And yeah. then they took it off of the jukebox. Uh-huh. However, the same group, Pink Fong, sings that, yeah. uh, has Baby Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so I just started playing Baby Monkey. And instead of do 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 it's banana na 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 That's it. That's it. Same song. Same yeah. Song. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Here we go, assholes. <laughs> People would play that just to fuck with me, just because they wanted to hear me fuck with everybody else. That's true. That's what would start happening. And then if you ever want to fuck with Derek's wife, you play... Oh, Rick Astley. She yeah. hates it. Uh, they nice. make a card. Uh, I think it's a Valentine's Day card. Yeah. Uh, and it's that song. And it you when she opens it, it doesn't stop playing for like 24 hours. Never want to nice. give you oh, up. Dude, I never want to let you. Da- Her face, she wants to kill you. I have had that to where I put it on the Bluetooth speaker and then hide my phone. Nice. <laughs> so she's like, fucking turn it off. And I'm like, I don't know where my phone's at. I, I can't turn it off. I don't know what to do. 
God, we're assholes. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft of the most annoying songs to hear at a karaoke bar. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, and you can go to x at L-O-T sidelines and vote for the x. list that you li- like the most. Uh, and whoever wins, I don't know, gets a pat on the back or something. So, anyways, uh, but yeah, that's the draft for this week. And now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation uh, brought to you by a segment we haven't done in a very long time. Kind of forgot about it. Uh, (laughs) I think uh, our P.O. box kind of forgot about it, but this is What's in the Box? Hey! Yeah! And it's the last one probably for a while. So long story short, um, we stopped getting messages saying that stuff was in our PO box. And so we decided to go and cancel it, that it is, uh, it is expired now. So we don't have it anymore. So quit sending stuff to that address. Now send it to one, one, one. No, don't you dare. Uh, but so anyways, uh, we go in to, uh, you know, to stop getting stuff and give the key back and all that shit. And the guy opens up the box and gives me shit that they haven't been letting us know. So we're going to do what's in the box today of me- of shit that has been in that P.O. box for <laughs> A months. While. The throwback edition. The yeah. throwback edition. Uh, we're going to kick this off first. Throwback uh, Tuesday. We're going to kick this off first with the oldest one. Uh, it, it was uh, apparently sent to us back in June 29th of 2023. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What's, uh, what's, uh, it says it's from Cameron and Ashley. All right. All right. And so, yes. Damn, I really would have wanted to go to this wedding, too. <laughs> know, I'm wondering right? if that's what we got here. Oh, oh it's then, got a letter in it's there. It's got a letter in there. Oh, man. We missed it, I think. Oh, wow. We got a letter. Save and the date. It's a save the date for, hey, it's June 11th of 2024. Nice. You got, we got, we got time. We just got a letter. Yeah, we, we just, just got, got a letter. letter. Uh, Wonder who it's from. Yeah. Uh, formal invitation to follow. Uh, but I guess Aubrey and Cameron are getting married June 11th in 2024 in Plattsmouth, uh, Nebraska, I believe. Yeah, I think any is Nebraska. Yeah, yeah that's so. got to be close enough, yeah, man. That, we that can might do that. Be. So uh, they sent us uh, uh, an invite and they wrote a letter. All right. Oh, we boy. Got? We got a letter. Uh, let's see. It's a dear laughing on the sidelines crew. My name is Cameron and I'm so sorry, Cameron. I can't read your handwriting. I want to say it's like Monahan. Monahan. Yeah. And, uh, and I have been listening to your podcast from day one and I love it. And it makes uh, me excited uh, every Wednesday when, when a new episode drops. Love all of the new guests, uh, but really miss the OGs. Sorry, JP. Fuck you. Hey, that's okay. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you too, yeah, Cameron. Yeah. Nobody's coming to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking boycott his wedding. I'm going to take the ba- uh, the uh, fucking people from Topeka, the Westboro Baptist people, <laughs> and uh, we're going to come there, and we're going to fucking... <laughs> you're just mad because you're not allowed to get married. That's true. That's true. Uh, but it God says... doesn't recognize your marriage as JP. <laughs> but it says, don't get so, yeah. too butt hurt, Scotty. Uh, he says, I'm getting married soon and figured uh, I'd invite you all. Keep up the great work. Uh, tell JB to do more of the interesting th- or do more interesting things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I like, really this, like this, this guy more. The more the letter goes on, the more I really like this guy. <laughs> it says, keep laughing, assholes. Uh, and it's, let's see, I can't. Can, can you, you read do uh, my, my in- Insta is. Oh, yeah. Th- and then that. hit me up. Hit me up the chat. Can you do overrated or underrated house plants? House plants. Sincerely, uh, Cameron. Uh, I, we can go. Let's do overrated, underrated house, house plants. plants now. Yeah. Overrated. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna say underrated. I'm going and, to here, as well. And here's why. We don't know why. We don't want to know why. We've got other letters to get to. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say why. Oh yeah. Because uh, if you can't keep a house plant alive, you should not have a child. <laughs> yeah, good call. That's a good sign. If you kill a plant, which yeah. is damn near impossible, yeah, yeah. That's you should true. not be responsible for a living human good being. Good call. I hear you. So it's a good test. It's a good test. You know, well, thank you both. You start with the house plant, then the fish, then right. the turtle, then the dog, then the kid. Well, thank you, uh, Cameron and Aubrey. We, we, we appreciate it. And I'm glad we opened this up uh, with time to spare. It nice. Looks like. So uh, we'll let you know. Uh, this next Is it one, open bar? Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's another thing we need to know. 
Uh, let's see. This is. Is uh, it bring your own mushrooms? Because if so, <laughs> yeah, then I'm in. I need to talk JB to you. JB and Derek are both in. Uh, this one was sent September 5th of 2023. Who's it sent to, though? This is sent to, it just says, Forever Yours. Oh. Yeah, and it says R&R Wade Watkins uh, in Mays, Kansas. So this is right oh, down the street. Nice. Yeah, this nice. is, this is Maybe like, this was accidentally delivered to us. It very yeah. Well yeah, it's for the neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I am, oh, yeah, I think it probably was. But guess what? We're going to open somebody else's mail. Uh, let's you see. Thank so much. Okay, okay. No, it looks like it's us. Uh, but this is, let's see, thank you so much for your donation to our silent auction. It's not, it's not us. us. No, I, I want to read it. <laughs> to our silent auction. Oh, that's great. We were able to achieve our goal of being able to feed our team for every game day. Mays High School football, football backers. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Uh, I think I know where this is from. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, sorry. I misspelled that. Let me reread this. Thank you so much for your donations to our slave auction. <laughs> we were able to achieve our goal of being able to feed the team. There you go. For every game day. Oh, so that was great. nice. Way to donate to that, Scott. Well, yeah, Good no cause. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's great. Good uh, cause. They're not supposed to be doing those auctions anymore, though. Yeah, they're, I know. Uh, they're, they're done. Oh, boy. That's we great. just got a we letter, got, got and mail. it's not even ours. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's so fucking awesome. That's the best. That is the best. All right. Well. Hang on. Keep that. I need to write shit off on my taxes. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I donated $12,000. I tithed oh, 100% shit. of my income to that football team. What if that's something alive? <laughs> what if it's something to the wrong person as well? What if it was like a. a when was it sent? Because if it was alive, it's dead now. I know. That's true. Yeah. It didn't poke any holes in it. You got to uh, poke holes in it. This looks like it was uh, sent maybe. Oh, it, it scanned uh, August 24th. It does say your name on the front it so does? i think it's supposed to come to us oh yet. yeah it looks like it that's is good close. okay they that's, had your that's actual good. full name they did. two out of three not bad <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no good shit. job usps that's right. yeah. you're batting way to what, go you're batting 666 oh boy okay all right doesn't keith litsky doesn't he work for the postal service <laughs> i think he does he did and then he fucking these people never got their thank you yeah. letter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they fucking shit. raised hell oh man i may need a key i hope it's a scotty bobblehead oh man if that if that's the case do you have a knife or something i'm not jeremy i don't carry knives here i can open it yeah you i'm open, not you, retarded you, you, you shut up i used to have one down here but, a house key oh right house key will work just fine uh, let's okay, see. I lied. There you go. <laughs> I told you. I can they're, rip it open. They're taped. They're taped pretty extra, extra hard here. This is why you got to watch us on YouTube and Spotify. All right. Hey! 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 Oh hey. You got a pacifier. Hey! hey. Oh Scotty my. got one too. Oh Look my at that. god! What the fuck? My god! Whoever sent this, God bless you. <laughs> I are- like that it came from Timu. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go. Now he says we did actually put out okay. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can put these on YouTube, but... Uh, it's too late now. It's just their tiny penises. That's it. Well, it's they're not average very big. size. It's not very big. They're average size, JP. <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like this is made from a mold. Oh, I Jesus. Be- oh, well. It's just cold out. Yeah, well, here, no, nah, take them off. Take them off. I'll keep this one. Uh, okay, sounds good. Oh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't put it on there because I'm going to have to I edit it all Scotty. out. I am not Scotty. Yeah. Uh, any, anyways. The suction doesn't work you gotta, very well. You got to lick it. Oh, just leave it there. God damn it. Oh, there it goes. All right. Uh, you should go put it in the shower and see if his wife notices. No, don't, please. <laughs> just please it. don't. Stick. No, don't. Those are for JP. Those are going home with you. Stick it right by the faucet (laughs) handle. No. Oh, my God. Uh, You know what we need to do? Put it in this golf bag. (laughs) If I I get them, I want both because I'm going to need both. (laughs) This is not going to work for me. You do get both, but please keep it out of the shot. Very good. Uh, But anyways. uh, I'll put it over here behind Michael Jordan. There we go. That's great. You should put it underneath Michael Jordan. (laughs) There we go. That is this week's and the last uh, What's in the Box until further notice. I'll tell you what. We're never going to do this segment again. <laughs> yeah. Now that that was what was in the exactly. box. A lot of times that is what is in the box. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, Fantastic. So, anyways. Thank Are you, you going to blur it out? It's just blur. I'm going to have to. That's all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's going to be like, this one was filmed in Japan. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now we get to move on to the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation. 
This week's shitty situation is, would you rather heckle at the Paralympics <laughs> or heckle at the Scripps National Spelling Bee <laughs> on ESPN? Both are uh, fucking... Those, it's not really... A, a it's a, they're both going to be fun. Oh, they're going to be fun. You're going to get t- killed. Yeah, but I think you're going to get killed at the Spelling Bee. You think? No, I'm sorry. Not at the spelling bee. You're going to get killed at the Paralympics. Paralympics. Yeah, you were going to get killed at the yeah. Paralympics. You may get away with it for a second at the at the script sell, uh, spelling bee. But, because do you know how hard those parents are on those kids? Oh, yeah. And they spell an, a, a word wrong, and you're just like, ah, you fucking dumbass. Like, that is probably what the parents would want to say, but they don't. It's got two R's, like retard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus You Christ. fucking moron. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going, I'm go, I'm definitely heckling the spelling bee. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. I am going to go the opposite. I am going to go with the Paralympics. You cruel. Use your legs, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going for the fucking Paralympics. Oh, my God. JP get killed. Yeah. Me too. You're doing it too. Yeah. My grandmother can fucking wheel faster than you, and she's dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. That Uh, would be fucking great. Oh, I mean, it would be fun. I kind of want to go do that. It would be fun to watch. I wouldn't want you to do it. Ah, that would be so fun. Oh, my (laughs) fucking stop. (laughs) (laughs) This is why I don't want this. This is my favorite day. This is my favorite day. Oh, my God. Well, thank God what's in the box is over. Um, <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is this week's show. Uh, thank you all so very much. JP. Always good to see you. Yeah. You got toys to take home with I you. I sure do. You do. And uh, Derek, as always. I'm going to put it on my dash like one of those bobblehead <laughs> cheeser yes. dolls. Please do. <laughs> and, and bring it into work tomorrow. Yeah. I get a little fucking wig to put on. Make it, dress yeah, it in a it. tunic and make <laughs> yes. it look like... Pieces. <laughs> I like yeah. it. Jesus I like it. Christ. Pieces, Christ. Pieces, yeah. Christ. Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, and also, and then get like two little arms sticking out. <laughs> yeah. God damn it! And thank you also uh, again to the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. Ah, uh, jeez, peace, pieces. Uh, but thank you guys so Jesus very, very Christ. much. Yeah, penis, penis Christ. Penis Christ. But thank you very much, uh, guys, for uh, for help spreading the show. Uh, we continue to grow, which is pretty crazy. <clears throat> and uh, it's all because of you guys. You guys are our advertisers. You guys are a word of mouth. So uh, thank you to, to everybody who sent something in. And thank you for participating in this week's show. And a uh, uh, special thank you to Aubrey and Cameron. Uh, and you're welcome to the maze football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you guys are welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, fucking, that's fucking great. Uh, but I think we need to put that right up front. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be a permanent fixture. Probably. Uh, but thank you guys so very much. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you go to Disney on Ice and Mickey Skate flies off and slashes your... <laughs> Stupid fucking throat. <laughs> oh, God. And you bleed out right there in front of all the children. Oh, Jesus. If you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. When you wish upon a star. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We'll see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>